What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lothixy and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today, of course, it is time for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator and today, once again, we have some brand new bits and pieces to look at in anticipation of the next update. So, I'm officially getting super duper excited for this one. Um, Obviously, we haven't had new content, I think, since... Oh, geez, wait, because we had the Christmas update, and then we had, like, a very small update with the, um, the Honeybee NPC. And there were a few little tweaks and changes and stuff, but, like, core big content. We haven't had it for a little while. So, I don't think we got anything in February, um, but March. It is now March, and March would be an amazing time to release some new Bee Swarm. Spring is kind of nearly here-ish. And yeah, I'm super duper pumped. So yeah, we've got some new things to look at. Now, this isn't as much, I don't think, as uh, in last episode. Because basically, last episode, we looked at some pretty spicy things. Um, I'll tell you what, let's just go and do our bug runs and stuff in the background. Um, so yeah, last episode was amazing because we actually looked at uh, a brand new NPC that was coming into the game, which is a really, really interesting one. And we also looked at... What did we look at? Oh, the brand new bee! Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness me. So yeah, my theory on this one is that the bee is something to do with kind of weather and uh, the elements and stuff. And I think that's probably going to feature somewhere inside the game. So yeah, if you want to see me go into more detail, then that video is up on the channel as well. Um, but yeah, there's been a few more things. So I think what we'll do is we'll begin here with kind of the one that has a ton of pictures. So basically, a couple of episodes ago, we discussed the brand new dice that has been added into the game. So it seems like this dice is going to be essentially like a, a field booster style thing. And basically how it's going to work is that the dice is going to be rolled and it will boost a certain field. But it will only boost a field in a zone that you have unlocked. So if you're going to be like a brand new player to Bee Swarm, or if you haven't yet unlocked, say, the 15B zone or something, then it's not going to boost the fields inside those zones, but it's going to boost the fields that you can actually get into. So on it has added a bunch of these little emblems. And I thought it would be kind of cool to show you guys, but it gets a little bit more spicy than that because yeah, I'm just gonna show them up on the screen here. So we have a bunch of different emblems. See if you can spot it. See if you can spot it. I have no idea what's on the screen right now. I haven't edited it yet. Future James, please do the editing thing where you put the scrolly thing and it goes up and down. Oh, geez. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Did you spot the new things? Did you, did you, did you? Let me show you. So yeah, check this out. There are two icons that stand out here. The first one, if we pop this up on the screen right now, boom, it's a coconut. It's a coconut. And what does this mean? This means that potentially there's going to be a brand new field. And this bad boy is maybe going to be the coconut field. So, I mean, this is amazing. This is one thing that... I don't know if I specifically asked for a coconut field, but I remember ages ago, I was always saying it would be amazing if we could get some new fields and stuff. And I kind of feel like tropical stuff is always super duper fun. So it would be cool to kind of have like a tropical area. You could have palm trees with coconuts, that kind of thing. And yeah, apparently, from what I can tell, this is an emblem that will relate to something like that. So the chances are maybe this is going to be a brand new field. And because there's going to be a brand new field, this must mean that the map is going to be extended as well into a different direction. Who knows which way? And uh, yeah, there's going to be a brand new field. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be really cool. So as well as that, there was also a second one in there. Did you guys spot it? Hmm, did any of you spot it? It is a blueberry. Now, this one is a bit strange. This one I don't quite understand because a blueberry, right, is... Oh, no, I guess it doesn't really matter. So... A blueberry is one of the, the fruits that you find along the map, right? But having thought about that, we have pineapples in the pineapple patch. We have strawberries in the strawberry field. We have sunflowers in the sunflower field, but we don't have a blueberry field. We've got a blue flower field, but we don't have a blueberry field. Ah, I think we're having another field. <laughs> so yeah, the thing is, the, the blue flower field isn't going to get replaced because there is an emblem here for the blue flower. But I'm guessing that as well as having the coconut field, we're also going to have a second brand new field, which is going to be the blueberry field, which we can then go and get some more blueberries from, I suppose. It's going to be part of the quest lines as well. Of course, remember that quest lines always ask you to go into certain fields, collect that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of hoping that these zones are going to be maybe more to the beginning of the game. I'm kind of guessing, obviously, that the blue 
the blue blueberry field is going to be blue, so there's probably going to be blue stuff. But the coconut, I feel like that might be some kind of colorless one. Maybe something with a mixture of each. Maybe some white pollen. Maybe, just maybe. But I thought I would show you that. So yeah, there's a load of different emblems. I think these are going to be related to the dice. And I imagine that these are probably going to pop up to tell you which field the dice has boosted. But I think they look really cool. Um, I really like them. I think they look kind of awesome. You've got the pine tree, you've got the cactus, you've got the rose. Also, interestingly, you've got the mountain field. And I thought that was kind of cool because there's no way to really boost the mountain field in-game. Like, the in-game field boosters don't do it. The only way you can do it is occasionally with a code. So you will be able to boost the mountain field, uh, mountain top field, with this dice. I thought that was kind of nifty. But most importantly, two brand new fields... Oh, another thing. There was also, at the very, very bottom of the list there, there was a... Uh, let me see what quest I've got here. Blue flower, mushroom, dandelion, sunflower. Okay. So yeah, at the very bottom of the list there, there was also an ant. Now, you may be thinking, hmm, there is no ant field. Well, this means, obviously, the ant challenge. And I actually think that this is a really, really good thing. So the, the thing with the ant challenge is when you're sort of lower level, um, the problem is, is that the ants are quite strong and, you know, they do a good amount of damage. But the problem being is that sometimes you can't get enough ants out in the time period because it takes quite a while to harvest the field. So obviously, when you harvest the field to a certain amount, that triggers the next wave. But... If there is going to be an ant challenge field booster, that means that when you go into the ant challenge, it's going to be easier to actually harvest to generate new waves. So I think this is going to definitely bring up some kind of uh, higher score potential in the ant field. And I thought that was kind of interesting, actually, because you can sort of do it with the wealth clock right now. Uh, but having like a wealth clock with an ant field booster as well... That's going to be some serious buffs. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that as well, just in case you're wondering why there's a little ant there. So many field boosters. I think this is all to do with the dice. It should be kind of interesting. And unfortunately, we've only really got one more thing here to look at. So in my opinion, right, I was kind of thinking about what I think these changes and stuff are going to be helping. And this is, this is kind of what I've been saying all along. I really want things that will help lower level players and sort of mid game players to to sort of generate up through the ranks a bit quicker. Um, so I think this dice is actually going to be really useful for lower level players because, you know, if you've got slightly less bees or if you've got, you know, not the greatest gear in the world or whatever, having that extra field boost, like field boosts are so important in this game. They really, really help with everything. And to have that dice roll to boost up a field, whatever field it is, if it's going towards a quest or a field boost or whatever, I think it's going to be really, really helpful. So I'm really hoping there's going to be loads of stuff for the vast majority of the bee swarm community. And I hope there's not going to be too many things for like the very, 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 very top people. Because it's great for me because I can make YouTube videos on it and I can show you these awesome gummy boots and stuff. But I've mentioned it a few times. Like there's not going to be that many people that are going to be able to get these gummy boots. I would rather there would be more things uh, which are a bit lower that everyone can enjoy instead of just watching them on videos. You know, it's kind of like I feel like sometimes the sort of 0.01 .01 have like all of the cool stuff. Whereas I kind of think that it would be nice if everyone could have some awesome stuff to play around with. Of course, I think it's cool to have something like Endgame. Um, so, you know, the gummy boots are like really, really Endgame items. And it's, it's kind of nice to save up and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just hope there's going to be loads of cool things for lower level players, mid range players. Uh, and yeah, new quests. I want some new quests. I love doing quests. Ooh, quests. Quests! That was a brilliant segue, James. Thank you very much. Because the next thing is all to do with quests. <laughs> oh, it was accidental, but it worked. Okay, so yeah, the only other thing that I have to show you here is there's been a brand new badge which has been added into the game. Uh, and this one is the Quest Grand Master Badge. Now, this is mad, right? This is mad. So if you look at the badges, I, I'm still on the Ace Quest Badge. Now, I obviously haven't done as much many quests as like most people, but I've done quite a lot of quests. I'm nearly up to 4,000 quests, but <laughs> that's like not even halfway towards the ace. And I kind of feel like if this quest Grandmaster is going to be added, I sort of think that maybe these quest numbers are going to have to be rejigged a bit. Because not only have I not completed the ace, I haven't even completed the master. So thinking about there being a Grandmaster... I think maybe the quest spacing on these rewards is a little bit off right now. It has been like this for a very, very long time. Although, of course, the rewards are amazing because you do times that container space up. I kind of feel like maybe just bringing them down ever so slightly would be good. Because the thing is, like, if the ace is 10,000 quests, bearing in mind I've got 4,000 in the year and a bit I've been playing this. 
What's Grandmaster? Like 25,000? 30,000? 50,000 quests? It's too many quests, man. No one's ever going to be able to do that. Madness. But yeah, I just thought I'd tell you this as well. So yeah, Quest Grandmaster. Hopefully, they're going to be rejigged a little bit just so make them a tiny bit easier, I guess, because the quest patch is tough. Really, really tough. But yeah, that's about it. That's about it, unfortunately. But I thought I'd show you guys. So, let's just head over to the Blue Flower. Let's go and finish this Black Bear quest. And I think, unfortunately, that is probably going to be about it for this episode. So, I mean, if anything else new pops up, any new codes, any new update thingamajiggies and decals and stuff, then I will totally let you guys know. Um, but I'm kind of feeling that, well, today, right now, as of this video, is the 3rd of the 3rd, 2019. So, I don't know, man. Could the update be this week? I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna pretend I know where the update is because I have no idea. But, 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 I kind of feel like it's, it's, it's coming close, man. I feel like it's definitely gonna be in March, and if we are really lucky, maybe it might be next week. I don't know. It's Sunday right now, so like I'm thinking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know. On it always puts them up at strange times, so you normally, I think the last one was up on like a Thursday, so. It's always like a surprise when it goes up, so I'm kind of thinking, well, maybe, who knows, I have no idea, but I'm thinking like maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that would be an amazing time for the update to come up, but maybe if it's going to be two more weeks, who knows, I mean, the thing is, I've said this loads of times as well, sometimes we have to wait a long time for these small updates, and I know like when Roblox comes to mind, Roblox is sort of famous for having lots and lots of frequent updates, but Beast Swarm never really does it that way, and I think that's okay, because every time there is an update, it's always brilliant, and there's always so much more to do in those updates than just your regular quick updates with like a new skin or a new zone or whatever, so having like lots and lots of stuff to do all in one go is always really fun, and I've always thought it's worth the wait, so you know, he's never let us down before, I don't think he's gonna let us down this time, and of course, I'm gonna be there making some videos. And yeah, I hope you guys come and join me. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. Because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Ranty off!